Hey guys, it's Johnny here, uh, Triple V as some of you may know. So today I'm at the Hong Kong HQ of Madhead. Uh, pretty excited and pumped to be here and as you can see behind, it's a pretty awesome scene of the Mad Cafe. Uh, very vibrant and awesome place to have your lunch or maybe dinner sometimes. So uh, what I'm here to do today is actually explain the new uh, Dragonary Craft Forge system which is going to be released in version 11.1. And uh, what we're looking at in the new system is how to use these uh, Dragonry Crafts to forge new ones. So, Crafts are going to be changed to uh, containing two types. One is going to be your Core, which is basically your frame. The second type will be the Essence, which is the type of skills you equip into the Core. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to have a quick look through the new system and how to create a Craft Core and what is it basically. So if you look through our in new inventory here, okay, you will see that our traditional type of craft look like this. Uh, as you can see, this is a three-star craft. It's a connection type. And you can see at the top left, the three stars, the three diamond shapes are actually in blue. So these are our traditional dragonary crafts that we are all used to. Okay, now once I scroll down, some of you may have noticed one which is, has little cool stuff floating around, right? Pretty awesome and it's got three orange stars. So if you see these three orange ones, it means that this is one of the new cores and it has already been embedded with three essence. Now how would you know if it's uh, just a core without any skills? You'd have to find one where, for example here, this one is a, you can see over there it's dark, it's got no color inside it, this one as well. These are empty crafts, so basically these cores have nothing inside. If you equip them and you use them, nothing will happen. So good luck to you if you equip this core, okay? It's an empty core. Okay, so this is our main screen. And if you scroll down, the guild area has changed slightly over here. And the bottom left, that little diamond has become one huge diamond, okay? Alright, I don't know if it's a diamond, but it sure looks like it. Alright, and this is going to be our new forge uh, that we're going to mess around with our craft. Okay, so first let's look at how we're going to create a craft core. So tapping into here, you'll see select crafts or essence as materials to forge craft core. Uh, as you can see, there's two ways to forge your cores. First one is by using other cores or dragonary crafts from last time. The other way will be to use essence. So we'll get to essence and how that works in a while. For a moment, just follow me through the dragonary craft part, okay? So we're going to create a craft core using some useless old crafts that we have. We tap on the left option there, tap on the plus sign, and every time you want to create a core, you have to choose three dragonary crafts or three cores. Okay. So if you guys are like me, I don't use beast teams much, I find them pretty useless, so I'm gonna go ahead and decompose or use some of my beast dragonary crafts as well as a dragon one for argument's sake. Okay. So the ones you selected, you see now they're floating around, nice little circle in the middle, and we're now going to forge these into a new core. Alright, so confirm. And bear in mind, you will lose these. Okay, pretty awesome little animation. So now what we've done is we've created a new core. Now this core, as you can see, has no skills in it. The bottom left says skill is just nil, and the top you can see that the three diamonds are all dark. Uh, colored up, which means that you've not embedded it with any essence. Okay, so as you can see, what I've created from other types of crafts is a core, which is the amulet of reflection type. Now, if you're wondering, is there any way to control this? I'm sorry, guys, the answer is no, <laughs> there's no way to control this. Okay, what kind of craft comes out and what kind of precondition is completely random. Even the amount of stars that it has, uh, as you can see here, is a three skill uh, craft. Even if you were to put in maybe three two stars, there's a chance that it could come up as a three star uh, core. However, it's completely random. <laughs> so if you guys are into all the luck based stuff, this is the thing for you. Okay, so that's pretty much the core, uh, how we will create them. The other way of course is to use craft essences. It's the same way, except we can pick three essences to dump in. And as mentioned, just to recap, what kind of core you get out of it, uh, it's completely random. So, of course, the more three stars you put in, the higher the chance of getting a three star core. However, if you put in a lot of two stars, one stars, guys, come on, let's be realistic. Don't expect too much out of it, okay? We're gonna move on to craft essence. So, back to the forge. Uh, in the menu, as you can see, the second option is to forge craft essence. 
Now if you click in here, you'll see that we get a forge, one star, two star, and three star essence. So many of you are probably wondering, is that a rarity thing? Or is that a power, uh, you know, kind of the level of power? Not so much, it's actually to do with uh, remember in your Dragon Ray Craft, you have 2,000 points to qualify for the first skill activation, 4,005 to qualify for the second, and 7,000 to qualify for the third. These points uh, actually reflect in the type of essences you use as well. Okay, so for the one star essence, once again, if you go into the menu, you can use cores or essences to create these. Now, one very important thing to note when you're creating or forging essences, is that the first craft or core you choose, or essence even, the first material you choose is the most, most important. Now, why is it the most important? Let's have a look. When we click this, for example, the shadowy barricade seal, you'll need to look at the bottom right there, it says the type of craft or core this is, and it's a special type. So how do we know it's special? We look at the third skill. So the highest level skill tells you what kind of craft uh, or core this is. Now, why is it uh, defensive because this is a damage reduction skill right so if you were to use this as your first craft when creating essences it will come up with a defensive essence okay so as an example let's use this one I just looked at the highest skill is a defensive skill which means we're gonna create a defensive essence here now what else you choose is pretty much not relevant at all other than the rarity and as you remember the more rare the higher the rarities you put in 9 stars, 8 stars, the higher your chance of getting a 3 star essence or craft. Okay, so let's confirm. Mix these into the blender. The great cosmic blender forge of essences. Okay, so we come out with a craft essence, which is a simple type, and it's, as you can see, a defensive type. Why? Because the first craft or core we chose, the highest skill was a defensive type, which is why this one has come out as defensive. Now, it says Demon Recovery increases by 27% for one round. Uh, usefulness, I don't know, you guys can decide that, right? Okay, so that pretty much covers essences, and as you can see, there's one star, two star, and three star essences, which you will need to try and craft, reroll, and try control the outcome. I don't know how you're going to do that, because it's completely random. Okay, so the next logical step is how we're going to equip these uh, essences. Okay, the term we use for it is called embedding. So we're now going to... Oh, wrong one there. We're now going to embed these uh, essences into the cores that we just made. Okay, so let's look at this one. Okay, in line with what we were talking about just now, the demon team. So this is an amulet of reflection. It's empty, it's got nothing in it. It's three stars, so we can fit in three essences here. Let's go about populating this. Okay, so we're going to make an awesome... Demon Craft. Okay, let's look at the one star essences we've created. Now, we need to try and find this one. Okay, so this is the one star one we made just now, right? Demon Recovery increases by 27% for one round. Let's chuck this bad boy inside there. Alright, so confirm to embed it. Okay, now it's inside. Once it's inside, you can't get it out. Okay, you can. You can delete it, but you will never be able to extract that same essence to use in another core. So guys, before you put your essences into your cores, be very, very wary that this is the one and only time you'll be able to do that. Because the next time you want to do that, you'll either overwrite your uh, essence or you'll lose it forever. Okay, so the final thing that many of you are probably wondering at this point is, uh, where do I get all these dragonry crafts and all these cores and all these essences? Well, part of the version 11.1's very new feature is that these are going to start dropping in your bi-weekly stages, okay? So, uh, in extra, you can start seeing them when the boss card maybe doesn't drop instead of chests, instead of souls. Okay, chests are going to get removed, so you're going to get souls, boss card, or dragonry cores, okay? So these cores are what you can then use to re-roll and re-roll and re-roll to your heart's content. Just remember that it's all luck based, so uh, the only thing you can uh, control is the type of essence that comes out based on the highest skill. Other than that, everything else is complete else up to luck and how much good karma you've accumulated, which I'm always a big believer in. So if you guys want good luck, do good things, okay? We can all make the world a better place, alright? But in any case,